How's it going everybody? This is Dave Shivers316 as all some of you might know me uh, from Fandroid.com and today I'm going to be doing a review on the leaked Hero ROM for the, T the G1. Um, now as some of you might know, some of you might not, this is, is a little bit of an incomplete ROM. It, it was leaked out um, by XDan. Um, apparently in spite of Haikuro, I don't really know, you know, the whole story, but it was leaked out nonetheless, and, you know, people all over are using it. I never recommend, you know, installing a leaked ROM onto your phone. You never know what it's going to do, but, you know, I, I like to take risks. Um, so here we are. I'm going to start you off. We're right, this is what, ha this is what you see right after you boot up. Um, you get to select your language. Uh, you either got English. Chinese chi from China or Chinese from Taiwan. Um, I am, you know, I speak English, so I'm going to select that. And maybe I will get a frozen screen. You never know. Let's see what happens if I turn it. Okay, I'm good. So, the next screen it comes up is um, for using the on-screen keyboard which actually this ROM does not have installed at the moment if you want you can you know pick up the the HTC IME file and and put the HTC keyboard on your here yourself um, as you can see I'm just gonna type a couple things in here um, it sees that I have a Wi-Fi network in my house asks me if I wanna you know, set it up or not. So, um, you know, I, I won't set it up at the moment, but you definitely can do that right at the beginning. Um, now, the the awesome thing about this is, is you could log into a whole bunch of different accounts right at the beginning. Um, you could log into server accounts, you know, and contact, and you know, your contacts and your calendar events and your emails are automatically synchronized. You got Exchange Active Sync. You have your Google account. Or you can, you know, do another mail account. So I'm gonna, you know, skip that for the moment also, just so we can, you know, get a little get along in it. Um, then they have, you know, a bunch of tutorials. Now the tutorials, the great thing about that, I'll show you the first one, is um, that they give you a little hint into, you know, maybe what we can look forward to in in some of these builds let's see what we got going on here so they're gonna show us a little now that's pretty um, if you can see that that that's what basically you know the future of this phone holds and it's pretty damn gorgeous if you ask me and I'm pretty excited about what's going on here I mean as you can see widgets and it's just really, really pretty, and I, you know, I know a lot of people are going to be excited that their phone's going to be able to look like this in the future. Um, so I'm going to back out of that. I'm going to back out of that, you know, um, and maybe we can. On this next screen, you can set up your social network accounts. They got Facebook, Flickr, and Twitter. That way, you know, you can get all your updates and stuff like that. Uh, we'll skip through that. And uh, we'll go on to the next screen. I believe now we're done, so it's probably going to bring up the home screen. Now, you know, with, with any build that's not, you know, completely finished, you know, I just got to force, you know, force close on the setup right there. So, here it is. When you come to the, the first screen, you got your browser, your maps, your market, you know, messaging. The messaging app is phenomenal. Uh, you can compose a message, you know and um, it's black background you also got a black notification bar up here which is is pretty sweet um, it's pretty it's really nice looking to compose a message you just hit over here you know we'll go back um, you got the Google search of course like always you know the the regular clock widget um, so you go in here you got the dialer everything you know from the normal build the actual terminal terminal emulators in here already the super user permissions you got the tutorials again if, if you feel like watching them um, contacts is actually called people now so if, if you went in there you you know 
see you know your contacts and whatever you can set favorites the music with the music um, application is phenomenal now I guess I could show you a little bit of that um, almost iPhone like you can scroll through your music like this um, if you have the um, artwork for it it'll show up real pretty you know um, and that's that's really nice um, what else we have going on here we have a, an application called footprints um, which basically you could take it's like geotagging and you take pictures of where you are and it requires a wireless network blah 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 so you know here's some of the footprints like the Eiffel Tower um, Big Ben see the Eiffel Tower it'll tell you the the longitude and the latitude of where it is exactly where you can you know see it on a map if you can see that um, and we'll just get back over here you can have your favorite footprints you know places to shop places to eat you know I guess places to sleep leisure um, market you know it, it seems to work for me um, some people don't you know it doesn't work I didn't sign up from and sign my Google account in so you know I can't get in there but yeah it's definitely working um, the browser now I had a little trouble with the browser it seemed kinda slow for me um, you can see if you can see over here the taskbar is kind of on the bottom going across there to load and um, you know it's a little different a little different here you know and if you it'll auto rotate or you know whatever since I don't have a uh, the built-in keyboard you know I can add a place to go we'll go to you know we'll go to Fandroid you know up oh, there it is there's the Fandroid so actually that, that was uh, it was pretty fast you know and, and I mean everything else is basically the same in there you know windows windows are a little bit different now you can add a window and it'll slide over like I said before kinda iPhone like just like the music app it's getting a little slicker though uh, now we'll get into the settings over here um, there's a new thing up here called personalize where you can choose a lifestyle or set wallpapers and default ringtones however when I click on it it goes into this section when I click on something like lifestyles um, I do get a force close um, so it goes back to that wireless controls works though you know set up your Wi-Fi your Bluetooth your mobile networks mobile network sharing you know what that means here let's go back in there and get you a little bit more excited you can share up oh, unable to turn on right now incomplete build um, you know your call settings sound and display you can go back into here you know and set up your your uh, your social networks the Facebook the Flickr and Twitter um, and you got security you know handle your applications now on a fresh boot after a wipe with this I'm getting 30 megabytes of space um, I mean I was guessing that this would take up a lot of space it is a rather large file locale and text you know comes up in Chinese um, I'm guessing these are the on-screen keyboard settings but it's not really working um, if we go to the about phone you can see status, legal information, the system tutorials there. Model number is HTC Hero. And um, baseband version, the kernel. The build number is Hero Generic. Software version is 1.0.0.A6288. Um, now this, this one that I picked up, this particular version of it, is apparently beta 2. Um, I don't really know what beta one looked like, but um, you know this this really gives you a really good you know view of what you have to look forward to. I mean, there's a lot you know there's you know folders you can go into the live folders, all people, phones, starred. Um, but yeah, um, I would get pretty excited because there's there's a lot of good stuff to come and um, you know I'm sure it'll be coming soon. Haikuru is still working on it 
and um, you know just be patient uh, like I said before I you can install this if you want I'm not gonna tell you where to get it I'm not gonna tell you that you should install it and if you do install it and you brick your phone it's not my fault <laughs> So, you know, don't don't be sending me emails, don't be sending Fandroid emails saying, you know, Shivers 316 told me to install the Hero ROM and my phone is bricked now. What are you going to do about it? Because, you know, I am not liable for whatever happens to your phone. Um, but, yeah, um, that's about it. If you find it and you like it, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I hope this little view into the world of the Hero ROM was a little bit educational and exciting for you. And, um, you know... We'll see you soon. Thanks.